Where did this whole journey begin for you? When was the first time that you even thought about, hey, I'm going to try out for WWE? Uh, January last year, I was uh, casting to uh, be a presenter on the first Arabic uh, show for WWE. As I was uh, doing the casting, I just found myself talking about how much I love training jiu-jitsu and how I uh, compete in tournaments. And uh, immediately after uh, my first casting, I received an email from WWE inviting me to the athletes' tryouts. And it was uh, surreal. I, I didn't even, I wasn't sure if I can even take part. I trained seriously, but it was never, I, I never trained professionally, uh, but uh, just Doing the tryouts uh, gave me a lot of confidence. Turns out, <laughs> jiu-jitsu and CrossFit twice a day will give you the good foundation to, 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 to do a WWE tryout. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, so tell me about how long were you doing jiu-jitsu and what did that really aid you in, in working on this whole journey towards becoming a WWE superstar? I got a late start in sport. I tried, uh, started training jiu-jitsu uh, in 2013. Uh, but for me, it's all or nothing. So if I'm training jiu-jitsu, training twice a day, I want to compete and I want to, you know, do well in the sport. So three months after I started in 2013 as a white belt, I won my first competition in Dubai. I got the bronze medal. And Congratulations. Thank you. I mean, <laughs> that competition I will never forget. And my jiu-jitsu was terrible, but you have to start somewhere, right? Absolutely. So, uh, yeah, and just literally walking off the podium, I started planning my jiu-jitsu journey and uh, just, you know, started adding training sessions. I wanted to get in better shape, so I started training CrossFit. Um, a lot of uh, competitions take place in the UAE because jiu-jitsu is a very uh, uh, popular sport here. I competed uh, very often. Every tournament I competed in, I was on the podium, either gold, silver, or bronze. That gave me a lot of confidence. I also competed in the World Championship in uh, Los Angeles uh, two years in a row and also a competition in New York. Uh, so this gave me the confidence to do the tryout and uh, CrossFit gave me the athleticism to get through four days training back to back three times a day, conditioning, in-ring work. It was an incredible experience. So when you get to the tryouts in Dubai, obviously they're going to make you take a bump. You're going to have to fall. Um, was that something that you were ready for with all this background or was that still jarring to have to take your first wrestling bump? Although both are grappling sports, it was completely different. The only similarity in the tryout was just doing a front roll, but even something, something as simple as a front roll in jiu-jitsu and in, in uh, uh, pro wrestling, it, they were very different. So I was like all the other athletes, uh, we were 40 athletes. Uh, you just see the move and you're like, okay, I hope I get this. <laughs> <laughs> With everybody watching. When you started, um really taking the opportunity yeah. seriously. Is this something that you started then following? Did you start looking to professional wrestling to see you know, who you can maybe take things from, how you're gonna um, work on the moves themselves, or is this something that you were following over the years as well? Uh, once this opportunity started to become real and things were you know, coming together, I, I watched WWE, but I started watching WWE in a different light. You're looking, you're paying more attention to the moves and the music and literally the ing the entrance, everything, all the details, and I'm like, this is so cool, and I can't believe it's considered prep because I'm having so much fun watching it. And uh, immediately you start to think about like, okay, what am I gonna do in the ring? What's the music? What's my character? Uh, yeah, so much. It's gonna be so much fun just digging into that. So you've been to the Performance Center in Orlando. How has that been so far? I got the opportunity to visit the Performance Center in July and... Uh, okay, so you, you know, just visited? Just visiting, okay. but uh, before heading uh, over to uh, uh, Orlando, I looked up the Performance Center. You always hear about it, but then I, on YouTube I saw these videos. It's so cool. Uh, seven rings, uh, you're training full-time, you're doing sports-specific uh, uh, conditioning for it, uh, and then to be able to get a tour in person. Uh, it made me honestly want to pack up my stuff and go like, okay, I'm starting tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so I still have to, you know, I want to, uh, once I move to uh, Orlando in January, I'm going to uh, start the journey of learning how to wrestle. I currently know how to grapple for mm. jiu-jitsu, but uh, as you can imagine, the two are, are very different. Yeah, absolutely. When you were here for the 
for the tryouts, we had people like William Regal, you know, legends of WWE, there at your disposal. Did they give you advice? And what was the advice that they gave you? It was surreal in the tryout, being coached by Coach Matt Bloom mm. and uh, having uh, 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 William Regal just outside the ring observing our moves and giving us all of the athletes feedback. That was surreal. I went back, I was training Jiu-Jitsu that day. I went back to the mat to my teammates. Some of them are super fans. I was like, do you know what was happening today? I can't, I'm not posting anything about it, but I was uh, in the ring with uh, Coach Matt Bloom and William Regal doing a WWE tryout. It was uh, unreal to tell that story on the same day in the, on the jiu-jitsu mat to my teammates. But yeah, uh, just seeing um, uh, Mr. Regal and Coach Matt Bloom uh, uh, talk to all of us, the athletes, and, and give us advice on whether it was technical on how to roll or what, to, what kind of to expect in the ring or uh, how to be on camera and, 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 and how this is done, basically. Mm. So one of the things that we haven't talked about, but it's really important that we talk about, is that you are the first Arab woman that WWE has signed. And although we've had other Arab superstars, um, Mojo Raleigh was just here, Sami Zayn has been you know, hugely vocal about his Arab heritage. Is this something that you really feel is important to you, the, the fact that you're representing this region and representing that heritage and taking it to a global level? I'm honestly honored to be the first Arab woman um, from the Middle East to be signed to WWE. It's an honor and a privilege, but at the same time, it's a big responsibility. Yeah. Um, I feel like there will be a lot of expectation and I'm going to do uh, my absolute best, you know, train really hard and get as good as possible and, and you know, just uh, so I can one day be in a WWE ring and represent the Middle East and make them proud. Have you heard from any um, young fans yet? I mean, I know there's a lot of young, um, both male and female fans here in Dubai and the UAE and the entire region. You know, you always hear about uh, how much uh, the WWE Universe know uh, WWE inside out and they always keep their ear out to what's happening uh, but I actually got to experience that uh, here I am from the Middle East I'm, no one is supposed to know me in Orlando but right outside the performance center someone goes like you're from the Dubai tryout are you shot? Can, can I take a picture and there it is on Instagram I'm like I can't believe this one person recognized me between 40 athletes in the Dubai tryout and remembers that in Orlando, uh, you know, we were at the NXT taping and uh, ever since uh, I appeared in a clip uh, on the Mae Young Classic, so much has been online um, about this signing. What was it like to experience the Mae Young Classic? It was uh, an incredible experience. I got to see the live taping up to the semifinals. Um, it was so cool to see, you know, female matches back to back. You don't get to see that often. Uh, and uh, the female wrestlers that are part of the company, some upcoming talent and even some wrestlers that are not signed to the company. It was great to see them all come together and, and get some recognition um, and great recognition. Uh, uh, and I got to be backstage. I got to meet the athletes and immediately I was like, this is amazing. Uh, this is where I want to be. Mm, absolutely. Have you been, I know you have broadcast experience, so you're no stranger to being in front of a camera, but have you been practicing in front of your mirror, different promos? Have you been thinking about character work? Is that something that you're geared up to doing? Absolutely. This is so new to me, so I'm going to be, uh, you know, learning this from scratch. Uh, but uh, I feel like my experience on camera or on air as a radio presenter or even live events, I think it gives me the confidence to go into this world and go like, okay, I have something, let me see how I can add to this and, uh, and come up with something really cool. Are you, I mean, obviously there's a lot of different factors that go into how you're gonna shape your, your character and the way that things, things move, but do you feel that you're going to want to make your, the fact that you are an Arab woman representing the Middle East a big part of who you are moving forward? Is that something you're going to be very proud of and very vocal about as you move forward? I would love to be myself and I grew up in the Middle East, I'm from mm. Jordan, so yeah. that definitely will have, uh, will be part of my character and my story. Um, and I feel like that's one of the, 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 the things that I can add. I, the first Arab female from the Middle East 
I, I would like to have uh, the entrance music have some elements of Arabic music. I mean, it's, it's our culture. So yeah, I would absolutely love to represent. So what are you thinking, like a Fairuz or a Nancy Azra? Which, which direction are you going to go here? like a super <laughs> remix uh, by the CFOs. <laughs> yeah, why not? Perfect. And do you have any, since obviously this is going to be watched by a lot of your young fans out there, do you have any advice to any young women in the region who are thinking about embarking on the same journey themselves? Sure. Um, just go for it. Whatever goals you set, if you set these crazy goals, whether it's I want to be the next WWE superstar or uh, if you want to get on TV or whatever it is that you want to do, just uh, set a crazy goal and go after it. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. Pleasure speaking with you. Thank you for having me. Oh, my pleasure. Okay.